MIT develops inventory control drone system. Researchers at MIT have developed a new system using small drones and RFID tags to monitor inventory, which could help businesses log inventory more efficiently. The drone is fitted with an RFID tag. The drone then alternates between relaying the reader's signal to a tagged item and its own signal back to the reader, allowing the reader to identify the item's location. The drone is said to be able to localize tagged items with accuracy within 19 centimeters, while extending the range of the reader tenfold in all directions. The MIT system will be put through a second phase of trials with a retailer in Massachusetts. Uh, where don't we use drones these days? China finds a new way to get rid of rubbish on power lines. China is using drones to burn down trash stuck to power lines. But is that safe? The fire spewing drone emits flames via a one meter long tube. It uses liquefied petroleum gas for fuel. The drone can be operated by maintenance workers remotely. China's power company Flames can burn up trash stuck to wires within 15 minutes, which isn't a long enough duration to cause damage to the aluminum coated power wires. The power company says this method is not only more efficient to get rid of waste stuck to power lines, but it also reduces the risk of maintenance workers being electrocuted by high voltage lines. Dubai to introduce flying drone taxis this summer. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting at rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground. You can carry the selfie drone in your purse. A UK company has launched a selfie drone called the Air Selfie, which is so small it can fit inside a smartphone case. The Air Selfie is stored inside an integrated cover that also fits inside a smartphone. The drone is controlled by an app and can fly up to 20 meters high. Autonomous hovering would take over after reaching a designated height. Users must then use the app to take pictures or videos. The drone is recharged when it is placed back inside the case. The project is being supported by a Kickstarter campaign that has already amassed over half a million euros in pledges. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Underwater drone revolutionizes fishing. Technology company Power Vision has unveiled a drone that can help users see what's going on underwater and may increase efficiency in fishing. The Power Ray drone has an onboard camera and an optional add-on fish finder sonar. The devices can be used together or separately. 
The drone can dive to a depth of 98 feet, while the sonar can track fish about 131 feet below the drone. A blue tinted light is designed to lure fish, while a drop function allows the user to deliver the bait whenever he or she wants. Users can watch the footage captured by the drone via their cell phones, which allows them to better determine when to reel in the fish. Some argue that it's not fishing if you can actually see underwater, but pre-orders for the drone will begin in February, and sales of the device will probably better reflect how many people find the technology appealing.